cat, and we're both African American, so we didn't talk about, but we didn't do nothing but curse each other out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on a, and we're going on a tour, you know, a few days on a tour. We didn't do nothing but curse each other out. You know, fucking the whole fucking trip. But that's the way African Americans talk to each other. So you now you're in your element. So that's an everyday thing. It's just like a, somebody you know from your same neighborhood. You know. So whatever we talk about, it's like. Oh, fuck you. You know, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As a matter of fact, one time we go on the road, and me and Ernest Miller is riding together, and I can't remember what town we went to. And we get in, we get in our rental car, and uh, we look up, and we see David Flair. We're like, what the, fuck you, what the fuck you doing out here? You on the road? And he goes, yeah. Now, everybody's gone from this little airport or what town we're in. I can't remember what town we're in. And uh, I go, who are you riding with? He goes, I'm not, I'm not riding with anybody. I said, well, do you have a car? And I don't think David was old enough to get a car. He was only like 20 years old at the time, so he wasn't old enough to get a car. Yeah. I said, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> you know? I said, who the fuck sent you out here with no fucking credentials to do anything? And he was like, oh, they put me on the road, man. I'm, and then I look at the cat. I said, you hear this shit? And the cat was like, hey, that's what happened, man. I said, well, damn, cat, we can't leave him out here, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh cat goes, yeah, we can't leave him out here. He said, man, pick all those fucking bags up and throw them in the fucking car. <laughs> you fucking ride with us. And he said, okay. And he starts getting the bags. We got, hurry the fuck up, man. We ain't got all fucking day. You know, <laughs> he trying to put them in neat and shit like mm-hmm. that, you know. He finally gets them in the car. We're like, man, man, get your ass in that fucking bag. Don't say shit, you know. And he's like, okay, man. So as we riding, we being what, you know, me and Kat, we talking. We use the N-word, the F. We use, we're talking like we're talking like he's not even back there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know it's, we know it's freaking him out. But we're not even thinking about him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because this is how we talk to right. each other. You forgot he's back there. No, we know he was fucking back yeah. there. But who fucking cares? It's David <laughs> Flair. The fuck you doing on the road in the first place? You shouldn't even be here. You know? But, um. Uh, he would, like, uh, try to get in a conversation. And we were like, man, who fucking asked you anything? Sit your ass back there and shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Don't say shit unless you got something. Unless we ask you something. So he rode with us for, like, three days, you know. But, you know, a lot of shit, we were just fucking with him because he was the green guy, the new guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But he was cool as shit. David was all, we was, I was always cool with David before, you know, before that anyway. And, man, uh, at the end of the loop, he was like, hey, man, appreciate it, man, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, man, it's all cool, blah, blah, blah. I kind of forgot it. I forgot about it. I think I went home after the loop or something like that. But we had to go to the Nitro. I think it was Nitro or Thunder or whatever. I'm um, walking in the back of catering, and I see Ric Flair. And Ric Flair was like, hey, Stevie, can I talk to you for a minute? And I'm like, yeah, what the, what the fuck you want? You know, saying to myself, yeah, what's up, dog? He was like, hey, man, I just want to let you know I appreciate everything you did for my son. I didn't know they had put him out there like that. And he told me that it was the best loop of his life. Man, he's I don't know what oh, wow. I don't know what you guys did or whatever. But he said, you know, y'all took care of him and I really appreciate that, man. I can't thank you enough. And I was like, oh man, no biggie. You know, because I remember back when me and my brother started, we was kinda in a situation like that, you know, when we first started. But uh it was uh you know, it just had that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about, you know right. what I'm saying, that the dysfunctionality. You've heard me talk about the dysfunctionality of WCW on more than one occasion. How do you send a guy out here, you know, usually when you're going on the road, I'm going to call you and say, hey, Matt, are you on the road this week? Oh, I'll look at the schedule and see you on the road. Right. Hey, Matt, you on the road this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who riding with you? Oh, man, nobody yet. Okay, you want to ride together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I see you in the town, you know, we get a car together and we split all this, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. You know, this kid don't know anything about that. This yeah. was his first trip ever. Yeah. You know? And who, no one made any preparations for him at all. And, and he was too afraid or maybe just too green to ask any of the guys, other guys, you know, could he ride? I guess he figured somebody would go, hey, man, you can ride with us. I don't know what he thought, to be honest, once I think about it now. But David was a cool guy. He was a cool kid. And that was probably was the craziest three fucking days of his fl- fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Because he heard every fuck, and because he was imitating, he got to Nitro, and he was imitating us with other guys. (laughs) 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 
I remember him. He, what motherfucker? Goddamn, my mama. You know, he's doing this. And I was like, oh, man, was it that bad? He was like, oh, fuck. I, he was like, I loved it, man. He said, I had, it was fucking great. Dave was a cool guy, man. I, matter of fact, last I seen Rick, uh, I don't know, a year or so ago, and maybe a year or two ago, and I was asking him how was he doing. He was telling me everything he was up to. And now, I miss David. I haven't seen him in years, man. He was a good guy. But I'm just saying, that's pro wrestling. That's the culture. Yeah.